Two men were journeying together. One of them picked up an axe that lay upon the path and said, I have found an axe. Nay, my friend, replied the other, do not say I, but we have found an axe. They had not gone far before they saw the owner of the axe pursuing them, and he who had picked up the axe said, We are undone. Nay, replied the other, keep your first mode of speech, my friend. What you thought right then, think right now. Say I, not we are undone. <laughs> <laughs> he who shares the dangers ought to share the prize. All right. All right. First off, you are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. <laughs> Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms. As I tell you, these folk tales are not just for kids. <laughs> listen, listen, I mean, I, hopefully you heard the story. And I can't do nothing but laugh because I have been in situations like this. And I'm sure that you have been in situations like this. And what these folk tales do is that they prepare us for things that we may encounter or remind us about things that we have encountered in our lives so that we won't make the same mistake. Now, the name of this folk tale, for those that want to look it up for themselves, is The Two Travelers and the Acts. I am using um, the, the translated version by George Fowler Townsend, a book I got off of ForgottenBooks.com. Be sure to check them out. Um, a real good site. You can get reasonable books. They got uh, hundreds of thousands of old, out-of-date um, books that you could get. And it's amazing on um, some of the books that you can find on there. But anyway, let's get to the meat. The two travelers in the act. So you got two dudes walking. One finds something, and when he finds it, oh, man, it's fortune. You know, we... We balling, y'all know y'all y'all know the story. We balling, man. We balling, but soon as trouble hits, soon as trouble hits, it's no longer we. It goes back to I. You understand what I'm saying? No, that's yours. That's yours. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all have been the on this on in this on the legal side. Some of y'all have been um on um in this situation on the business side, um on the legal business side where. People want you to take all the risks, but they want to share the reward, rewards with you, right? You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like it's sort of like the mutual funds. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, you pay 100% and you get no guarantees, but they get to share the prize with you. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 this folktale applies to our lives. We got to start eliminating those people who only wants to be with us and be around us in the good times. We need to get rid of those institutions that only want to be in our lives at the good times. When it's the hard times is when we need the backing. When we it's in the hard times that they say in, in in hardship you find true friendship. In hardship you find who's really down with you. And many of us have a bunch of hanger-ons, a bunch of people that's just wanting to be with us because things may look good or there's a possibility that things can go good. No, 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 no. You need to surround yourself, especially if you're on this journey, if you're on this journey to self-master, if you're on this journey to improving yourself, if you're on this journey to change the world, you don't need individuals around you that could take credit with you without putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? Without putting in the work. they. You know what I'm saying? And soon as hard times hit, you find yourself by yourself. No. And then on top of that, this is why. This is why in traditional societies, warrior societies that still exist today called the Marines, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Special Forces, SEALs, SEAL teams, all these warrior type organizations, football teams, basketball teams, this is why, this is why the old-fashioned coach, the old-fashioned drill sergeants 
used to be so rough because what they used to do was they would make a team out of a bunch of strangers by putting them in hardships. And you would know who was going to break down. As a matter of fact, the ones that broke down in the more advanced courses would be put out. You know why? Because what that's showing you is that it, in the hard times, in the hard times, in the times when you really need them, whether it was on, 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 on the fourth, whether it was in the fourth quarter of a football game and, and, and you were on goal line defense, and this touchdown means the difference between victory and defeat. You need everybody to hang in there. Regardless of the outcome, if you're in a firefight, you need to make sure that those that's with you in the military, those that are with you, are not going to throw down their guns and run the other way and not abandon part of their team or leave a, leave a member of the team. You know what I'm saying? You need to have these hardships to really see who's real. So in the old days, what we used to do, we used to initiate so that you knew somebody's heart. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, when you dating these men, do you really know them? Can you really know somebody without hardship? This dude that was traveling, one of these one of those dudes that was traveling, one of those travelers really learned a major lesson about that individual that he was with if he survived after the 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 dude whose accent was caught up to him. He learned an important lesson. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we want to wait. We end up waiting because we don't want to hurt people's feelings. We end up waiting because we want to be politically correct. We don't want to call people out on the little things that we notice. But then when a big thing blows up, what happens? Those of us that's true to the game, those of us that's true to the journey, those of us that's true to our lifestyle usually suffer alone because all those that's just hanging on for the glory, all those just hanging on for the money, all those that's just hanging on for the props fall off. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms. I tell you over and over again, these folk tales are not for kids. Now, um, we're moving into fundraising season. I got the raise funds so I could get 30 kids to Simba. We got... We're working on that right now, and I know some of you going to come through and help a brother out. Not only help a brother out, I help some of these young people out. Um, and we also got our capping trips coming up for all those that are interested because we're as cold as it is right now, we're starting to prepare for the camping trips. So um, we got the equipment. Now what we have to do is start getting the people and start getting the deposits so that we can make sure so we see how big of a campsite that we need. And with that, Brother Hatim says, peace. <laughs>